It's not unusual for a seal to sun itself on the sands of Seabrook Beach, but this yearling harp seal? This is a little wanderer here. Usually they don't come this far from the beach. Harp seals live in the frigid waters off the coast of Canada and hang out on ice floes or glaciers. Along the New Hampshire coast Friday, the snow patch in Dorothy McLennan's backyard proved the next best thing. I don't know how he got up here from the ocean. I mean, you said my yard, that's all I know. Seals actually belong on the beach. It's where they rest and where they socialize. This little guy, after a long trip from the Canadian Maritimes, decided to snooze somewhere along Seabrook Beach, but got a little disoriented. He actually crawled all the way through a pretty extensive dune system, which is unusual, but we actually have had harp seals go into even more unusual locations. Still, most were surprised to find their new neighbor content to nap before an audience. The Holt kids here for a long weekend from Montpelier, Vermont, say this is the highlight of their school vacation. How did you know it was a seal? Because it was looked like a rock, but it was really big. He came home and he stopped me in the middle of a game of solitaire and he told me to come down because there was a seal. Maybe see two or three a year, not too many. There's more further down by the rocks. But never in somebody's backyard like this. No, this is a first. Harmless as he may seem, this seal can be feisty if it feels threatened. He lunged at a woman who tried to check on him and was less than thrilled when this team from the New England Aquarium showed up to coax him back into the water. They're wildlife and you need to watch them from a safe distance. The seal appears healthy in its weight, coat and behavior, even if his sense of direction is a little off.